All right, lads, we are back. LFM Red Bull Ring. Today we're in the Ferrari. Last time out, we was in the Mustang. And I've pretty much made a setup for almost every car. I'm going to release a setup pack on my Patreon. Um, if you're part of my Patreon, then you can get it, of course, for free. And if you are just coming to visit, you can buy it from the Patreon shop. So, um, yes, let's get into this one, man. This should be interesting. In the Ferrari, probably not going to get the best start. But we're starting from fourth on the grid, which is not too bad. See what we can do for this race, man. We've got a Mustang behind us, and is it a Mustang and a, and a Aston? I think. So I think the leader had a quite a healthy gap on the rest of the field in quality, so he's probably just going to get off. Maybe the battle will be behind him. BMW should get the better start. I'm a little bit scared of the start of the Mustang because I'm sure it gets a very slow start. That might put us in some chaos, but let's see. And it's green. Nice clean start. Not safe until we go through turn two. Okay. Let's try and keep this pace up. Too deep there. I'll try not to slide the tires in the early stages.
getting dropped a little bit. Just getting dropped off the back of these guys. Better luck. Definitely losing time though to the guys in front. Tire pressures look good though. Much better last sector. The guys at the front battling while they catch traffic.
try my best not to slide the rear tyres at all. Much better turn one. Lost a bit of time through there. to get this Lexus out of the way. Time to get some aero wash. Thank you. See if we can close in on Jimmy. a big slide that seemed to help us the McLaren is still pretty quick behind us as well a little bit too early. Getting on the power too soon through there. Bad luck.
and a poor couple of laps. McLaren definitely getting closer. Struggling in that last corner. Definitely struggling in the last corner. For some reason we're definitely struggling through the middle. Lapping about three temps slower than Jimmy at the moment. Big mistake. First time we felt the car sliding through that corner.
Okay, is a good stop. I think it was a half decent stop anyway. These guys have made their pit stop already. Our tyres were good, we just didn't want to get caught in the traffic, man. came in that we had a good stop to had a better stop than we did First warning. Oh, I got jumped. Somehow I got jumped. No way. I thought I had a good stop. He must have had an absolutely worldy for a stop.
I haven't been that impressed with the actual pace in the Ferrari race pace. So far for me, the McLaren and the Ford have been quicker. Started to struggle in the uh, last corner. The car doesn't feel bad at all either. The car feels good. Jimmy looks like he's stuck behind lap traffic. to up the pace We've been really weak in the first sector.
happens in a bit of luck. This lap traffic hasn't been that kind. Guys, proven to be a bit of a bell end. These are actually taking a nip. That's quite a bit of time behind those guys. Ten minutes to go, pretty much. I don't think Jimmy's been as fast in his second stint. We actually still caught him through all that traffic. So far, most of the battles have taken place in the pit lane.
I think keeping the TC in five is probably better than switching it from six and two. Gaps are stagnating a little bit. Awkward. We lost a little bit of time, we didn't know what he was going to do. Very poor lap. Nearly lost the back end. Uh, Getting the traffic in the most awkward places. I think the lap time started to slow down a bit. See if we can pick it back up.
Oh, the understeer's kicking in. The tire wear definitely kicking in. Bad luck. Got too much fuel on board. Don't have the grip anymore. Remember, these guys stopped later than us as well. No time gained, even though I think there was time gained. Oh, we've gone too deep. Pace definitely dropping off a cliff. What's weird is, is that the car doesn't feel inherently bad, it's just slower, you know? Will we get another lap? To gravel. Oh, this is the last lap. That was definitely much more of a strategic battle. The early stop didn't help us at all. 
maybe I just wasn't quick enough in the uh, pit stops because I really I lost time to Jimmy and I got jumped by the McLaren and other than that the pace difference wasn't you know it wasn't massive there's a kind of pace difference where you could have held somebody behind so um we're gonna have to look into that pit stop wasn't you know obviously wasn't amazing even though it didn't feel too bad but I reckon on the entry into the pits maybe I lost some time I don't know if those guys are going flat out into the entry um I was gonna try it didn't want to get it wrong because our race would have been over we only lost one position but that was literally all we were fighting for the guys at the front were just way too quick man so um yeah it was an interesting race definitely an interesting race let's have a quick look at the results Um, I'm actually surprised that the Ford, the Ford seemed to be really fast in the first stint. Um, but you can see they opened up quite a big gap to the rest of us, man. 16 seconds from the leader was Jimmy and basically the battle that we had. So it was a pretty big gap. Seriously faster than the race, those guys at the front. But in the end, decent race, lads. Decent race, man. Not sure about the race pace of the Ferrari. Again, track temperatures were higher than previously what I've done. So we'll have to see similar track temperatures, what other cars can do. But for me, the McLaren and the um, the McLaren and the Ford seem to hold their pace better over a stint. Even when the car started getting slightly sketchy in the McLaren, you could still get the lap times, you know. Um, but anyway, we shall see, man. Guys... Take care, Crypto TMG. Peace.